Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, people, once again, and uh, welcome to Novi Sad. Uh, unfortunately, this Polyglot conference is over, but the main topic was the Serbian language. And uh, next to me, there is a wonderful guy from Great Britain. So, could you please tell us something about yourself? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm from a place just outside London, the southeast. Uh, I am principally a, a, an English teacher on italki, but I also t give lessons in Greek, French, and Italian if uh, a student, this older student, wants. And uh, my recent, most recent language project is learning Serbian, which I've been uh, struggling with for the last two years. But uh, fortunately, with uh, notice of like maybe two months uh, before coming here, it gave me the motivation I needed to get somewhere with it and I found this weekend to be extremely useful for my Serbian. Uh, a lot of the talks were in Serbian and I admit I did kind of fall asleep through some of them because I just it was too much information and I couldn't follow it but nevertheless I still enjoyed it thoroughly <laughs> and found it very interesting. <laughs> okay uh, and what was your uh, like the best the best lecture that you have ever heard? Uh, we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I actually have two favorites. So my f my um, it w my first favorite I would say was the very first one by Richard Simcott. So he was talking about his balkanization, mm -hmm. and it was uh, extremely entertaining uh, talk with lots of uh, funny photos and anecdotes and so on. And uh, for me, watching that, it was like uh, a little glimpse into what I hope would be my future. Uh, because I like rather like this part of the world I'd love to come here more often and I feel a sort of uh, uh, connection with this part of the world as my I have a lot of friends in Greece so I'm often in the Balkans and uh, it was um, it was a nice British humoristic twist mm -hmm. on everything and uh, so yes and also it was completely in Serbian and he spoke in such a sim like not too simple but just at my level so it was a very good start i was able to pull it to follow most of it and i thoroughly enjoyed that and then uh, the other one would be uh, so be norvitz yesterday who spoke about um, mutual intelligibility between slavic languages and i found it extremely inspiring because uh, serbian is my first slavic language and i look forward to exploring others uh, after this and having that process made easier thanks to my experience with uh, Serbian. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and uh, tell me what do you think about this country and about these people? Okay, so what do I think about Serbia and the Serbs? Well, my experiences uh, so far have been nothing but positive. Uh, I find them to be, I find you to be very welcoming people, very warm and very hospitable. Um, I love how uh, I noticed, well I was told by you that um, most of the time you expect that a Brit will be a bit reserved so yeah. you go for a handshake first but as I'm half Greek Cypriot I'm quite great and a lot of my friends are also from Italy uh, I'm quite used to hugging and kissing hello and so I really liked that when uh, I had that sort of welcome uh, when meeting Serbs and um, I really like the, the the attitude that we have here the laid-back attitude uh, it would, for example um, Yesterday evening, around six or seven, we were walking through the park, and I've never seen so many children and families out playing. In England, uh, around that time, everyone's having dinner, and then after that, it's considered late evening, and no one really goes out. Mm. And then everything closes so early. Uh, so in England, everything is mostly closed by 11 p.m. Here, I can easily and readily expect to be able to get food and drink up until well gone midnight and uh, I've enjoyed that very, very much. And um, um, I'm also impressed at the, the level of, um, of English here. Uh, I, I guess, um, I don't know, the, when you have such a complicated language, I guess going from anything that's even slightly easier <laughs> makes it a less formidable task. Yeah. And so it's been a pleasure meeting such talented people who can who can speak to me in my language uh, at a very very high level but of course I'm here to I've come to you I want to <laughs> I want to speak in your language and uh, I've taken full advantage well, as much as I could <laughs> at this moment so <laughs> 
Okay, and last question, can you describe this country and uh, not to use uh, more than two words? Okay. okay, so I'll have one positive and one negative. So, positive would be warm, uh, current weather not included, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's just given because it's still summer, and negative would be, um, I'd say smoky, I, I would, it's a bit of a shock coming from England and then going to restaurants here and people are smoking in restaurants <laughs> <laughs> and you, you do smoke a lot here I must say. <laughs> Unfortunately I must uh, agree with you and I hate cigarettes as well ah, so okay. don't worry you're not alone. <laughs> okay thank you so much for coming and thank I you hope for having you having me it was been I a pleasure. I hope to see you uh, in the near future in my town in Belgrade. Oh, so. most definitely. Vidimo se tamo. Vidimo se. Ciao. Ciao.